It looks like it. It feels like it. Things are blooming. We are turning a page weather-wise into the next season. And I think this is going to be the best spring there ever was. <laughs> we need it. And it certainly is beautiful out there to start off the work week. A few changes, though. Clouds are going to be increasing pretty quickly tomorrow. So uh, we're going to have to say goodbye to the sunshine for a couple days. Morning rain is likely on Wednesday. Beneficial rain, though. You know this is a big part of uh, what makes the world go round in the spring cycle. We need those April showers, even if they're coming a few days early. Uh, to keep everything growing and on track. Big late week warm up. So, warm weather fans, there's a lot of you. Uh, you're going to love these temperatures come Thursday and Friday. And so will those cherry blossoms. They are officially, as of today, in stage three of six, the extended florets. And I know we've seen a lot of pictures this weekend of trees starting to pop. But for those Yoshino cherries uh, down at the ch tidal basin, peak bloom still on track. The festival's underway. It goes till the April 11th. But that peak bloom has not changed. It's been very consistent and is still on track uh, for April 2nd through 5th. So something to look forward to in now just about two weeks. Outside right now, 66 in D.C., 61 in Annapolis, 62 in Baltimore, 66 in Frederick, and 64 out at Dallas. If only every day was like this, but it feels like we don't even get that many days this beautiful per year. So really important to soak it up. Yesterday was great. Today is the same all across the Northeast. 58 in New York, 61 in Binghamton, 66 Six in Pittsburgh, 68 in Columbus, even 66 out in Chicago. So obviously it's really quiet satellite and radar. Storm spinning off the Carolina coastline. It almost looks tropical. It's not, although it does sort of have that look to it, doesn't it? A little too early to start talking about anything tropical. That will stay well to our south, but clouds are increasing out ahead of this system across the central plains. Rain showers and snow for the front range. Uh, that is going to move eastward. And as the warm front lifts through tomorrow, we'll start to see clouds. And then eventually by Wednesday morning, we'll see some rain. So uh, probably clear early tonight, but clouds laid. It's still a chilly one, 44 in the district, some 30s outside the Beltway. Clouds roll in pretty quickly tomorrow. We should still make it to 65 degrees, but by day's end, it's very overcast. We may even have some pockets of drizzle around. There's future cast to confirm. Just a few breaks are possible, but honestly, I think it'll be more cloudy than not. So goodbye to that beautiful blue sky. Light rain and drizzle showing up, moving in from the south tomorrow night. And then we kind of increase the rain intensity here by Wednesday morning, so a wet commute for those of you uh, during the morning hours. Pockets of some steadier rain as this pushes through, and by afternoon will slowly clear out. That should be it for rain for a few days. Cold front doesn't really push through until Friday. It's a pretty elongated system. And in between, we're in the warm sector, and warm up we will do with that jet stream retreating well to the north. High pressure offshore by Friday. This is uh, like a Bermuda high that we see in the summer, so a good setup to get some above normal temperatures. And for late March, it's going to feel really warm. We could easily do our first 80 degree day.